Before you begin, make sure to consult the manual for valuable safety and maintenance tips. Allow the engine and exhaust to fully cool. Remove the spark plug wires. Set the parking brake. Remove the key from the ignition. Remove any front or rear attachments. Remove the mower deck. Remove the tractor hood. Note, the right and left are in reference to the driver's seated position. This video instruction guide is only applicable to tractors with a single mower deck suspension bracket located under the middle of the front axle and a manual attachment clutch. If your tractor does not have these features, please refer to the owner's manual for assembly. Now, if equipped, remove the browning shield from the tractor by removing the two front bolts. Then, ensuring the washers are in between the frame and bracket, align and loosely secure the right-hand side plate with the bends facing out using three 3 8 inch by 1 inch carriage bolts, three half inch washers, and three 3 8 inch flange nuts. If your tractor has an engine mounting plate, don't use the half inch washer where the bolt goes through the plate. For the rear hole, use a 5 16 by 1 inch carriage bolt and a half inch washer and a 5 16 inch high lock nut. Now, fully secure these bolts. Then, repeat for the left hand side. Now, if equipped, reinstall the browning shield using the original bolts. Next, install a shoulder bolt, a 3 8 inch washer, and a 3 8 inch flange lock nut into the left and right hand brackets. If present, remove the bolt on the left side of the tractor frame in the hole directly behind the brake rod. Then, attach the left hand hanger bracket to the hole using a 5 16 inch by 3 quarter inch self threading bolt. Now install a shoulder bolt into the hole that is 9 and 1 half inches to the rear of the bolt you just installed and secure it with a 3 8 inch flange nut on the inside of the frame. Then, if present, remove the bracket from the hole directly behind the end of the brake rod on the right hand side of the tractor frame. Store the bracket and bolt. Next, secure the right hand hanger bracket with a 5 16 by 3 quarter inch self threading bolt. Then, insert a shoulder bolt 9 and 1 half inches to the rear of the bolt you just installed and secure it with a 3 8 inch flange nut.